Hello, good morning, um, and I'm going to unbox Wilderness War. I picked this one up through the GMT sale as well, uh, designed by Volko Runke, who is very famous in the industry right now, uh, of course, being like the innovator of the coin system. I don't know if this was his first game or one of his first games. It is pretty early on. Um, this one, though, is from 2015. It's the third printing. I think the original may be from 2008 or so, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a game that I'm quite interested in uh, as I'm Canadian and this kind of con this conflict really shaped our past. Um, if, if the British had not won this, Canada would have been a very, very different country. And let's zoom in on the back box here. We've got, um, you know, just standard things explaining about the cards, units, game turns, the map. Uh -huh. The map looks absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a look and see what we got inside here. Great cover art. Very nice. And we have our table of contents. The rule book is very short. It's only 16 pages. I'm surprised. Um, there was a word floating around from some of the videos I'd watched online that this was a very complex game, but it's only got 16 pages. It still could be a complex game, but... Um, you know, it's got a shorter rule book, which is quite nice. The good production, black and white. Though, explaining the units, cards, movement. Oh, very nice. Then the playbook. GMT is wonderful for um, putting these in. It answers a lot of questions that people get stuck with. Um, it's great to read through. I also like the historical notes that they write in here as well. A really nice gives some backstory to the uh, to the conflict and the history of what was going on. Like I mentioned I'm Canadian. We study a lot of this in uh, high school about uh, you know the, the Plains of Abraham and uh, the Siege of Quebec. And it's got some scenarios of course. It's excellent and we've got charts and tables. So movement, unit ability, VP table, supply lines, attrition. I do not like winter attrition. The ah, terrible. But it was a fact of life. Results table, raids and sieges. Very good quality stock. And charts and tables. Again, another copy. And then chits, very nice chits, nice looking chits. Of, we got like the British, the French, forts, some leaders down here as well. And the bottom. Excellent. And then we have more chits, more units. We have the uh, the natives, the First Nations units here, as well as standees for the uh, for the leader units as well. And they're going to be excellent quality, very thick cardstock, really nice looking. Uh huh, nice. I recognize the names of all the groups here. A lot of them are well named after. Places in Canada, Mississauga, Huron, Ottawa, Seneca. And then the map. And this is going to be a really nice map. I can tell that right away. Let's lay it down. It looks gorgeous. It's, a, of course, excellent quality. And we have... Yeah. Uh, places 
in southern Canada, northern U.S., Montreal, Albany, New York, New Haven, and down here, colonial troops, militias, and we have Halifax, sequence of play on the map as well, the turn track, looks nice, looks excellent, really nice map, I just wanted to look for... If Toronto is on here, it would not be. We didn't exist at that point. It would have been York or Fort York. Oh, actually, Toronto is on the map with Mississauga. I'm surprised. And we have some dice, stands, and cards. Let's take a look at some of the cards. They look a lot like the cards in Washington's War for the People as well. Uh, I think this game is about the same uh, production time as those. So you've got your standard CDG faction card, point value, events. Uh, we can try to open them up and see. I'm really bad at opening up plastic things. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure though that these are going to be uh, super you know, excellent quality. GMT does make very strong quality cards. The art is on the back is fantastic as well. Let me pull off the plastic and see them a bit better. There we go. Very nice art. Good quality. They will be... I sleeve my cards. Uh, it helps them last a bit. So, some of the examples of cards. That looks excellent. Very good. All right, this I'm very excited to get to the table with. Um, it didn't come with baggies. I'm surprised with that, but again, this is an older release, so they may not have been doing it at that time. All right, so that's it. The French or the uh, Wilderness War. Thank you very much.